Hey, what's up, everybody? It's March 19, 2019. So, hey, you know what that means. It is TNT Tuesday. Uh, so, hey, got in another email. And uh, somebody came at me and said, hey, Corey, what is going on with parts list? And why isn't density and surface area one of the properties we can bring in for parts list? And my answer is this. I have no idea. I would love to know the same thing. All right. So uh, that's what we're going to be taking a look at tonight. Uh, there is a way you can do it. A little bit more complex. Um, and here's the reason why. Is that you're going to have to go out there and come up with some new um, you know, custom templates to use uh, for an IPT and an IEM in order for that density and uh, surface area to be showing up in your parts list. So let's go ahead, let's get started. So right now what you see in front of you is the T9 front from the Automo blocks. And um, yeah, let's take a look at this. Let's see what we're wanting to do with it. Um, we're going to come out here, go to annotate, and we're going to go ahead and pick on parts list. We're going to go ahead and pick on my front view and say OK. And we're going to drag this parts list up here to the top right hand corner. And when that comes in, we can see things like description, part number, quantity, and item. All right, but we also have the ability to come out here and edit the parts list, go up to our column chooser. Obviously, you know, description is doing nothing for us, so I can remove that. But then I can bring in things like appearance. And I can come down here and find things like uh, what mass, material, uh, see what else, volume. Those are all great things. All right. And I know that people are asking me about this, you know, because in case you have been, I don't know, living under a rock, you're going to be seeing this with 6.4 structural analysis and that product disassembly chart. We're going to see a lot of the same things, but we're also seeing things like density showing up. Uh, if you want to include surface area, you could do that. Uh, but somebody's out there trying to basically duplicate what we did with 6.4 and Inventor, and that's kind of cool. All right, so let's go ahead and let's talk about how we can make this work. Because uh, if we look here in parts list and we look at the available properties, we can see that density is not there, surface area is not there. That can be a little frustrating, but let me show you how we can make this work. All right, so in order to do this, what we're going to be doing is going to new. We're going to be picking on standard inch IPT and saying create. And when we do this, what we're going to do is come over here to the orange file tab, come down here, go to I properties, and we're going to be picking on the custom tab of I properties. So the name we're going to give this is dense. All right, we cannot use density just because of the coding and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this dense. And the value for this is going to be equal. We're going to go ahead and put in the chevron. We're going to type in density just like so, put in the chevron. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a space. And we're going to be saying that this is grams forward slash centimeter. Let's put in our carrot and let's go with three. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add that. All right, the next one we're going to be adding is SA for surface area. I'm gonna come down here to value. I'm gonna say equals, I'm gonna put in Chevron. And this is going to be lowercase surface, capital A. And then the rest is going to be lowercase. Uh, just like so Chevron in space now unfortunately the only feedback the only units I'm able to get from this that I have found out so far unless I can find out how to do this is just going to be in centimeters so we're going to say centimeters okay we're going to go ahead and put in our carrot squared all right so let's go ahead and just add that I'm going to go ahead and hit apply I'm going to go ahead and close and finally I'm going to come up here to the orange file tab I'm going to go to save as, save copy as, I'm going to go into my English folder and I'm going to give this a name that I know is going to be giving me exactly what it's saying. So iprop, all right? So I know density and surface area is going to be coming over with iprop. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Next thing I'm going to do is come up here, go to new, pick on standard inch.iem, say create. This time what we're going to be doing is coming up here to manage, going into the bill of materials, and then up here you're going to be seeing this thing called add custom I property column. We just came up with two customs. All right, so let's go ahead and pick on that. The first one, what we're going to do is type in dense, just like we typed while ago. And the second one is going to be SA. All right, so we're going to be adding dense and SA, saying OK, and now we can see that right here in our bill of materials. I'm going to go ahead and say done on that. And finally, orange file tab save copy as template and I'm going to go into my English folder and I'm going to go ahead and just type in same thing as I did with the IPT iprop. I'm going to go ahead and do a save. All right so once I have those two done <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing is, is going out here going to new I'm going to be using my shiny new iprop IPT uh, you know template I'm going to go ahead and create and now I'm going to come out here and do a start 2d sketch pick on a work plane I'm just going to create a very simple part I'm just going to come out here and create a chunk of steel. I'm going to go ahead and do an extrude. Looks good. I'm going to come up here. I am going to apply a material. That's very important. I said I was going to apply steel, so there's my steel piece. 
And now the very important part about all this, in order for this to work, is you have to come here to the orange file tab, go into iProperties, go into the physical tab, and you have to hit update. And here's the reason why. Right now, without hitting update, we can see that there's nothing available for mass, area, or volume. So if you don't hit update, guess what's going to be showing up in our parts list within our IDW? NA. All right, so we got to hit update. So once we hit update, we see numbers are going in there. We hit close. Okay, now what we're going to be doing is doing a save. And I'm going to just save this to my desktop and call it steel. That's my steel IPT. All right, now I'm done with my steel IPT. Next one, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say, uh, I want to use my IPROP IAM this time. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and create this. I'm going to place in my steel IPT. That's in there one time. I like it. All right, now I'm going to come up here, orange file tab, do a save as. Okay, and I'm also going to be calling that one steel, and that's going to be my IAM. All right, so that is done. All right, in order to see all this work, orange file tab, we're going to go to new. We're going to go ahead and open up whichever IDW, please. Okay, so here comes my custom title block. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and base view. Look out there for my steel IPT, or uh, I'm sorry, my steel IAM from earlier. Drop that in, say OK. And now I'm going to uh, first come over here and go to manage. I need to go into my styles editor. And once this opens, you're going to see on the left hand side we have parts list. Go ahead and expand out on that. Come down to our parts list here. I'm going to come down here and pick on column chooser. All right, right here we can see new property is available, so we can pick on that. We're going to go ahead and type in SA and say OK. That's been added to my selected properties. Go to another one and type in dents. Say OK on that. That's been added. Now I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Before moving on, here's what we have to do. We're going to come here to SA, pick on that. And the heading, this is the actual text that's going to be in our parts list. So this one is surface area. They all have to be in caps. It's just uh, the formatting of the actual parts list. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And the next one I'm going to be picking is going to be dense. And this one obviously needs to be density. Once again, all in caps. I say OK. I save and close. I'm now going to be coming up here, going to annotate. Coming over to our parts list, I'm going to go ahead and pick on that front view. Say OK. Drag this up here to the top right hand corner. And look at that. We have our density. We have our surface area. Okay, description, part number. Well, we can come in here and modify a little bit more. Let's right click on it. Let's edit that parts list. Let's go into our column chooser. Description is doing absolutely nothing for us. I'm gonna come here to the top. I'm going to add appearance. I'm gonna come down and find mass. I'm gonna find material. And I'm gonna come down here and find volume. I'm gonna go ahead and add those, say okay. And look at this. We have a parts list that is just packed full of information. And if you take a look at that parts list, and you compare it to what we see here with the 6.4 product disassembly chart, we can see a pretty good mirror okay, of uh, what we're doing within there. So there you go. That is how you can add density and surface area to your parts list using custom template files that you're creating. Uh, now, obviously, if you're going to be using this in your classroom, once you have those files set up, that's when you're going to have to somehow get those to your students. So Google Classroom, Google Drive, your own LMS, Give those out to your kids, and then they can then, uh, you know, go out there and create their own uh, template files to use. And that is how you get the parts list to work the way you want it. So, all right, thanks for being here, everybody. Have a great uh, week, and uh, that is it for this week's TNT Tuesday.